Kevin, what was what was Thomas burning in his house when we were there? Turf. Turf. That was turf. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Claire told me turf. Claire burns turf as well. Mm-hmm. Well, turf and she's very common around here. We have a lot of bogs right? on on each side of the river there in the Sook. It's very boggy along with the river. There's plenty of bog land. And you call it Sook? S U C K. River Sook. It's the largest tributary, it is, it's the main largest tributary of the Shannon. There are a lot of little small tributaries. But the Shannon is the largest river in the country, and the Sook is the largest tributary. And it enters, it enters the Shannon at Shannon Bridge. And it divides Roscommon, it runs down along all the west side of Roscommon. And the, the Shannon runs on the east side of Roscommon as you're going north. So it separates two counties, Roscommon and Galway. Will you eventually run out of um, turf bog? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're stopping people cooking. They're stopping people cooking. Some That's what the said. Yeah, there's preservation out there in some of the bogs now. But you see, back the years, they, they, did, they, they cut turf banks by, you'd cut about an area, about an area from here to the fireplace, and about from there to there, and you cut it down to slaying. And the, you went down under the ground, we'll say under the, the uh, finished field level, and you filled in the top. The top of the, the bog was poor quality turf, what you used to call white turf. So you just you cut that down about probably about three foot, and you healed it into the lower part, filled up the water. The water lot, you, you keep going to here and heat water. But as I suppose about probably 30 years ago now, it said they started going in machinery, mechanized, and they had these things, and they started. The butcher the bogs really, so then personally concerned. So by doing butchery. what you were doing before, you kind of regenerated. Yeah, regenerate, and you didn't do much damage to the bog. But mm-hmm. currently, people that have the turf wouldn't agree with me. But I think it's, I think it's, it's a scandalous what has gone on for the last thirty years. They've been there with their with tractors and hoppers, and they're digging down the bog and they're thrown into this machine, and they have the bogs destroyed. It's disgraceful what they did to the bogs. The bogs were perfect the way we used to cut turf long ago when I was a young fella. When Borden and Mona did a lot of Borden and Mona came in and said it's a state and uh, Borden and Mona. It's, it's a national semi-state body, they call it Borden and Mona the, 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 as a company. And they, they started selling moss peat and they started selling, started making briquettes, which is a compressed form of, of a turf. A factory made and they sold it in bales and they, you buy it and you, when you get a bale of briquettes and they're very neat to carry. And they started that, and they started selling uh, peat moss. And the peat moss is exported now. But they harvest the peat moss uh, in uh, a couple of places all across the middle of the country, where the, all the bogs were. And we had a famous English botanist here called David Bellamy. And he tried to run the one-man campaign with the help of some people from Ireland for a number of years. He's still alive, he's pretty elderly now. But he reckoned that we were destroying a, a very important envi- environment. The locals, including Clare here, doesn't want to admit it. The bogs, the, the da- damage to the bogs is causing a lot of that. They don't want to admit that, but that's the reality of it. I think, I think it, we need to preserve the bogs. They'll be, for, for future generations, they're invaluable.